Hello everybody. We're going to be talking about intervals and chords today. First we're going to be looking at intervals. To the right we have all of our diatonic intervals which just means those are the intervals that happen within a major scale. <clears throat> to the left we have our chromatic intervals and that just means the intervals that happen if we flatten or sharp, sharpen the diatonic intervals. So let's go through and play each one. The, uh, the main point of this lesson is ear training. So we want to be able to hear these intervals and just know what they are. Okay. So <clears throat> for now we're going to stick to the key of G and I recommend practicing it this way if you just keep it in one key at first before you you know, go to different keys and try to recognize those intervals. So it's stick with the key of G. So first of all, we have, if we, oh, excuse me, if we have a G note, I left out an interval here. It would be a perfect unison, P, U. If we have two G notes, we have, that's a perfect unison. If we go up to the two, we have a major second. If we go up to the three, we have a major third. If we go up to the four, we have a perfect fourth. If we go up to five, we have a perfect fifth. We go up to the six, we have a major six. The seventh, we have a major seven. And if we're going up to eight, we have a perfect octave or a perfect eighth. Ninth, we have a major ninth. skip 10 and go to 11 would be a perfect 11 and if we go to 13 we'll have a major 13 okay keep in mind that seconds are major and minor thirds are major and minor sixes are major and minor sevenths are major or minor Ninths are major or minor, and thirteenths are major or minor. Unisons are perfect. Fourths, fifths, and we'll skip tenths. So just, uh, and also octaves. So perfect is unisons, fourths, fifths. Uh, we'll get over here. You can also augment or diminish these. Okay, so let's jump over to the chromatic side if we have our one and we go up a half a step to a flat two we have a minor second you can always think of uh, the movie Jaws if we go to a flat three we have a minor three If we go to flat five or sharp four, which is the same note, we have an augmented fourth or diminished fifth, also known as the tritone. Okay, if we go up to a flat six, we have a minor sixth. Flat seven is a minor seventh. A flat nine is a minor nine. flat 13 is a minor 13th. Okay, another uh, point I want to make is a ninth is a second an octave higher, an 11th is a fourth an octave higher, and a 13th is a sixth an octave higher. Okay, so let's go through these one more time. We're going we're gonna to do them all at once, okay? So, <clears throat> a perfect unison. second, major second, minor third, major
major third. Perfect fourth. Augmented fourth or diminished fifth, also the tritone. Perfect fifth. Minor sixth. Major sixth. Minor seven. Major seven. Perfect octave. Perfect eleventh. Minor thirteenth. Major 